Hello guys! Welcome back to our channel. My name is MJ. So today, isi-share ko sa inyo guys kung paano mag-apply ng UK visa. So kagagaling lang namin ng London and may mga nagtatanong paano daw ba mag-apply, uh, mag paano daw ba ma-approve, ano daw ba yung mga documents na pinapasa. So ngayon, isi-share ko sa inyo yung naging experience namin kung ano-ano yung mga documents na pinasa namin. Nag-apply kami as a family, me, my husband, and my daughter na uh, less than 2 years old. So, yung mga documents na pinasa namin, guys, is under my husband name. So, even yung aming travel agency na Algen Travel and Tours, isa kanya din nakapangalan. So, disclaimer lang, uh, I'm not sure na applicable ito sa lahat, pero sana may makuha kayong ideas and makatulong ito kung mag apply kayo ng UK visa in the future. So, ano-ano nga ba yung mga documents na pinasa namin? So, you need to prepare these things. Una is passport. Kung meron kang old passport na may mga tatak, uh, kailangan din yun. Um, kailangan ng birth certificate na PSA, dapat latest. Uh, marriage contract kung you are married, uh, latest din na PSA. Then kung working ka naman, kailangan mo mag-provide ng uh, payslip na at least 6 months, COE, ITR. Then uh, nag-provide din kami ng uh, bank certificate and bank statement na at least 6 months. So, yun. Then, nag-provide din kami guys ng round trip ticket. Kinakailangan din yun. So, nag-book na kasi kami ng ticket para tinik namin yung risk na uh, if ever hindi ma-approve, uh, may mariripan naman kami. So, yun yung ginawa namin. Nag-book kami ng ticket, then may option na to refund. Parang mababawasan lang yung mariripan. Parang hindi na full payment. Ganon. Then, nag-provide din kami ng hotel vouchers kung saan-saan mag-stay. So, for example, 7 days kayo sa London. Uh, kung saan-saan kayo o ulilipat kayo ng hotel, kailangan mo i-provide yung lahat ng pupuntahan mo. Also, the itinerary. So, kung ngayon 7 days nga kayo from day 1 to 7, kailangan mo i-itemize kung ano-ano yung mga pupuntahan mo ng araw na yun. And may mga additional documents din kami pinasa. For example, may pag-aari kayo mga bahay, lupa, sasakyan, or yun nga, business. So, kailangan mo din ipasa yun. So, ang pinasa namin doon sa business is DTI, Majors Permit, and BIR. Katunayan na meron kami ongoing travel agency dito sa Pilipinas. Then, nagpasa din kami ng ORCR para dun sa car. Katunayan na meron kaming car dito na uh, under dun sa husband ko. Then, meron din kami sinan dun title, title ng lupa, title ng condo. Yun. Then, humihingi din sila ng evidence of family member remaining in the country. So, ang pinasa namin dun is yung picture ng immediate family number namin, nakasama kami sa picture. For example, uh, si husband, meron siyang picture na kasama yung immediate family niya, and then ako naman, ganun din. So, meron kami magkakasama na. Katunayan lang na may family kami dito, meron kami babalikan sa Pilipinas. Kasi, yun lang naman ang gusto nila, yung assurance na babalik tayo dito sa Pilipinas. Kasi, iniiwasan nila yung TNT, yung overstay doon. So, yon So, okay na yung mga documents. Ang gagawin natin next ay punta na tayo sa website sa www.gov.uk. So, isishare ko sa inyo step by step ko ano yung mga gagawin. Normally lang naman is kailangan lang yung information, basic information, personal information, uh, names, mga ganun, address. So, kaya-kaya nyo yun guys. Okay, sa may Google, type nyo lang ang UK Visa Application. After that, uh, Standard Visitor Visa Apply. Then, after nyan, um, Apply Now. Then, select your language. Ano ba yung language mo? So, dito tayo sa English. Madami kasing language na nandito. 
So, select a country to provide your biometrics. So, nasa Philippines tayo. Then, next. So, check available biometric enrollment location. So, yun yung Philippines. So, hindi na natin babaguhin. So, I have check available biometric enrollment location. So, next. So, apply for a UK visit visa. When you cannot use this service, before you start, so pwede mong basahin yan. Then, how to apply. May mga guide naman. Biometric information, how we use your data. So, pwede tayo mag-start now. Kung nabasa nyo na yun. So, do you want to start a new application? Since may application ako, start a new application. Then, register your email. So, try natin ang Algen Travel and Tours. at gmail.com Then, create a password. O, sample lang to guys, ha. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then, lagyan ko ng capital A. Then, report your, repeat your password lang. Then, save and continue. So, contacting you by email. May option dito na, if your email is wrong, click here. Who does this email belongs to? Sa akin. So, next lang. Additional email, meron ba kayo? So, ninong ko na lang. Save and continue. And then, your telephone number. So, saan ba kayo pwedeng kontakin? So, try natin to. Uh, plus 63. Then, 917. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sample lang to guys ha. Where do you use this telephone number? So, pwede mo itong gamitin sa where you in UK and where you're out of the UK. Then, mobile telephone number. Ay, hindi pala pwede yan. 6, 3. So, try natin yung 917 then 1234567 then save and continue ayan another any other telephone number so no so contacting you by telephone i can be contacted by telephone call and text messages so pwede yon Pili lang kayo ng, sa mga option na yan. Then, save and continue. Okay, then, enter your name. So, sample, ang name ko is Algen. Then, De La Cruz. Save and continue. Any other name? So, meron ba kayong other name? So, no ako. Save and continue. Okay, next is your gender and relationship status. So, what is your gender? Female. What is your relationship status? Lagay ko, married. Save and continue. So, your address. So, sample lang ito ulit guys ha. 1, 4, 3... So, ano yung town? Tagig. Province. So, within Metro Manila ang Tagig. Postal code is 1632. Then, Philippines. Madali lang ito guys, basta personal information nyo lang naman yung ilalagay. So, about this property, how long have you lived at this address? So, sample natin is years, 5 years. What is the ownership of status of your home? I own it, then see. So, 
you must use your passport travel documents to complete this section. So, lagay nyo lang yung passport number. So, again, sample lang ito. Hindi ko ito yung mismong passport number. Issuing authority. So, enter the date. Kung kailan in-issue. and expiry date. So, sa mga new passport, normally 10 years na. Save and continue. So, your identity card. Do you have a valid national identity card? So, no tayo dito. Your nationality, country, and date of birth. So, country of nationality, Philippines Country of birth Philippines again Kung saan ka pinanganak So place of birth Saan city ka ba pinanganak Or province Ilagay mo lang dyan Then date of birth Yan Kanya lang kadali guys Kaya ang kaya nyo yan Save and continue so, your other nationalities, do you currently hold or have you ever held any other nationality? Siyempre, wala. So, your employment status, so, ilalagay ko is unemployed, save and continue. Your income and savings, so, do you have other income or any savings? So, lagay natin is other regular income. Then, lagyan natin is PHP, Philippine Money. So, lagyan natin ng 100,000. So, kayo basta kayong bahalang mamili dyan. Ito, sample ko lamang para may guide kayo kung ano yung uh, hitsura ng um, website nila. Basta yung sasabihin nyo is yung totoo kung ano talaga yung sinasahod nyo, kung magkano yung uh, savings nyo ganun. Okay, next is about your final situation. So, what is the total amount of your spend each month? So, lagay natin is 20000 Paying for your visit, will anyone be paying towards the cost of your visit? So, kunyari ako lang ang magbabayad. So, wala. No natin yan. Okay, next is your your plan travel information. So, kailan ka ba pupunta ng uh, UK? Yung date of arrival. Sample is February 2, 2020. At kailan ka aalis ng UK? Kunyari, uh, February 8, 2020. So, save and continue. Next, spoken language preference. So, English. Main reason for your visit. So, tourism tayo since magtutur lang. Pero merong option na mag-business, transit, academic, marriage, private, or other. So, save and continue. Main reason for your holiday visit, so tourist again. So, your activities, give details of the main purpose of your visit and anything else you plan to do in your trip. So, uh, dapat daw maganda yung essay mo. Sabihin mo lang kung bakit ka pupunta ng UK, ganon. So, sample natin is, I want to spend my birthday in London. So, anything na basta kung anong gusto mong gawin sa UK, sabihin mo lang. Then, save and continue. Your current per partner. Use your partner's passport or travel document. So, ilagay mo lang yung name ng partner mo kung meron. Kasi kanina nilagay ko may married eh. So, lumabas tuloy yung kailangan ng partner details.
Philippines. So, Philippines. Do you currently live with you? Yes. Will they be traveling with you in the UK? Yes. So, their passport number. People financially dependent on you. Does anyone rely on your financial support? So, no. Save and continue. So, depends, depende sa inyo yun, guys. Ha? Kung may mga nakadepende sa mga uh, income nyo sa trip na to. Save and continue lang. Give details about your first parent. So, mother. So, ilagay mo lang din yung name ng magulang mo. Sample is Daya. Then Ramos. Then birthday niya kung kailan. Country of nationality. Have they always had the same nationality? Yes. Give details about your parents. So, kanina mother, ngayon father naman. So, kunyari ang pangalan ng father kay Pablo. Then, Ramos again. Birthday. Then, Philippines. Family who live in the UK. Do you have family in the UK? So, sabihin nyo lang, yes or no. So, wala akong family doon, no. Traveling as part of an organized group, no. Traveling with another person. So, pupunta ka ba ng UK na aside from your spouse? So, no. Accommodation in the UK. So, do you have an address for where you are going to stay in the UK? So, lagay lang natin is meron na. So, yes. Next is, tell us about where you plan to stay in the UK. So, where are you planning to stay in the UK? So, lagay mo lang dito yung name nung accommodation, either hotel or Airbnb. So, enter kung saan address ito. Sample lang itulit guys ha. So, yun town. And yung postcode. So, kailan ba yung arrival mo? Lagay mo lang ulit yung date. So, nilagay ko kanina, date of arrival is February 2, 2020. So, dapat tugma-tugma yun. Para hindi rin malito yung embassy o yung mag-check nito. Other accommodation in the UK. Will you be staying anywhere in the UK? So, no. UK travel history. Have you been to the UK in the past 10 years? So, no. Travel to Australia, Canada, New Zealand, USA, Switzerland, or the European Economic Area? So, zero tayo. See? World travel history. Have you been to any other countries in the past 10 years? So, yes. So, kung mas maraming country kang pinuntaan, pwede mong ilagay. So, ang lalagay ko lang dito is Japan. Pero before this, marami na kaming napuntahan country. Pero puro Asia lang. So, lagay mo yung anong date ka pumunta doon. Then, kung kailan ka umalis. So, dapat katab pag nag-fill up ka nito, katabi mo rin yung passport mo. Man pala yun, baliktad. 
So, save and continue lang ulit. Any other world travel history? Which countries are part of the European country? So, no. Okay, for immigration history, na-refuse na ba yung visa mo? Refuse entry? Refuse permission to stay? So, no tayo. Breach of UK immigration law. Have you ever entered the UK illegally? Remain in the UK beyond the validity? Breach UK immigration law in other ways? So, no. Conviction and other penalties. So, at any time, have you ever had any of the following? A criminal conviction, penalty for a driving offense, an arrest of charge, a caution warning, a civil penalty issued. So, magnono tayo. No, I have never had any of this safe. So, war crimes? No. Then, I have read all the information about war. Terrorist activities, organization, and views, have you ever been involved in? So, no. Terrorist organization? No. No. No lahat. Save. Extremist organization and views? So, no. Extremist views? No. Have you? No. Persons of good character? So, basta basahin nyo lang yan, guys. Pero ako puro no, no, no. Then, save and continue. Next is your employment history. Have you ever worked of any of the following types of organization? I have not worked any of this. Additional information about your application. If you need add more, so essay a little ito. So, uh, gandahan nyo lang. Kasi the more na maganda, the more na mas na-approve daw. So, kunyari, I want to visit the Buckingham Palace or to see the uh, London Eye, ganun. Basta, make a research before kayo din maggawa ng essay or anything. Check your answer. So, after mo ma-answeran yun, ipapakita sa inyo yung mga sinagutan nyo so pwede mo pa siyang i-edit. So, ayan. Ito yung naging itsura ng for, uh, application form. So, dapat ito is naka-print sa A4 size na paper. Kasi medyo madami ito eh. So, continue lang. Okay, mandatory documents. These documents are mandatory and you must provide them as a part of your application. Tick the box to agree that you will provide each document. So, yung mga pinilapan mo dito, kailangan mo siyang i-print sa A4 size. After that, kailangan mo siyang i-scan or else, pwede mo siya ipa-scan sa may Eco Plaza building kung saan ka magbabiometric. May bayad lang ito na 670 pesos uh, per person nung time namin. And uh, free naman siya kung ikaw mismo yung mag scan So, ang option, ang ginawa namin is pinascan namin. So, visitor condition. If your application is successful, there will be condition on your visa or leave to remain. So, if you stay in the UK, pwede kang ma-detain kung nag-overstay ka. So, declaration by sending this application, you confirm that the best of your knowledge and belief of the following is correct. So, basahin nyo lang yan, guys. So, I confirm that I am the applicant age 18 or over. I accept the above. Check your answer. 
So, check nyo lang ulit kung yung mga pinala pa nyo kanina. Then, continue. Dito may option pa kayong i-change eh. So, visa option. So, pwede kang mamili kung ang gusto mo ba yung visa mo is 6 months, 2 years, 5 years, or 10 years. So, 6 months lang tayo. Choose a service. So, uh, kung 6 months, ang babayaran mo standard is yung 128 USD. Kung gusto mo naman ng priority for 25. And kung within 24 hours, meron ka ng gusto mo na magpa-biometric, 1419 USD. So, basahin nyo lang yan. So, doon lang tayo sa 128. 128 USD. Then, save and continue lang ulit. So, your payment provider, pwede tayong magbayad uh, via online. Kasi, online lang talaga yung payment. Hindi siya pwede sa cash doon. So, meron Visa, Master, American, Maestro, PayPal, and Diners. So, ayan. So, before you continue, you should only move to the next page if you have checked your answer and you're ready to submit your application. Kasi, kasi once you select continue to world pay, you will not be able to return and edit your application na. After ma-fill up ang yung form, ang next step na dyan is pupunta ka sa Eco Plaza Building, Chino Roses, sa May Makati City. So, dapat 15 minutes before your appointment, nandun ka na. Once na pupunta ka doon, huwag ka na magdala ng mga laptop, iPad, food, kasi bawal. If ever may dala ka, iiwan mo lang sa locker, so may fee na 75 pesos. So, pag nandun ka na, naka okay na yung mga documents mo, magbabiometric, magbaba pipicturean ka. After nun, uh, may option ka na uh, kung gusto mo bang makareceive ng notification kung naipasa na yung documents mo sa embassy. At kung uh, uh, nandiyan na yung passport mo ulit, kung pwede mo nang i-pick up. So, may pwede nyo na 150 pesos. Pero, pwede yung passport mo, pwede ipa-deliver sa bahay. So, yung amin, pinikap na lang namin. Then, for the scanning, yun nga, may bayad siya na 670 each. Okay. If ever naman dumating na yung passport nyo doon sa Eco Plaza building, uh, pwedeng, kung hindi ka makakapunta, pwede mo siyang ipakuha sa isa sa member na nag-apply. So, magpadala ka lang ng valid ID, then authorization letter. Nakasild naman yung passport pag dumating doon sa may Eco Plaza building. So, yun lamang guys. Sana nakatulong ito. Uh, sana ma-approve din kayo katulad namin at makarating din kayo ng UK. So, good luck. Hope you like this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye!